very much for choosing Creative TV. I am your host, Liz Akama, and as promised, Creative TV is always on the move to make sure you bring closer the aspiring leaders to you. And today on our guest list, we are joined by Torres Sam Omol, who is an aspiring MCA of Lucky Sam Award. How are you, Torres? I'm fine, uh, Liz. Thank you for hosting me. Okay, so for someone who doesn't know you, yeah. apart from the politics, yes. who are you? Uh, Torres uh, Sam is a father. Torres Sam is a Christian. And I'm also a journalist by profession and a philanthropist by default. I love giving back. I am the CEO of Mungarum Tani, a non-profit organization that gives back and support the vulnerable in the communities. Now that you, you're vying as an MCA, yeah. who are you politically and uh, why are you going for the MCA seat? Yes, uh, politically, I think uh, it started from uh, my people and from what I've been doing to the community. And they saw what impact that I'm bringing on the ground. So when I decided that I want to go for politics, it, it was not my own opinion. Because one, giving back and my organization already has been showing what they are doing. What, what, what I've been also bringing the picture of who I am in the community. So they have named me as Kiongozi. And uh, I'm going there, one, to bring change to bring the fruits of the government closer to the people. And I'm not going there because of my own political ambitions, but I'm going there to support them with whatever, with whatever, with whatever, with, with whatever we'll get from the, from, from, the, from the county. Yes, so our projects that we've been doing within, before, get, before I get into the politics, is that Mungarum Tani itself has been feeding 4,500 children every weekend that is called lunch mtani and we, we have also a program uh, dubbed uh, uh, periods don't stop for pandemic whereby we've been doing mentorship to the young young school going girls and also to the girls uh, uh, young mothers in the on, in the in the slums so we have been also giving pads and uh, pants to those vulnerable girls apart from bringing the mentor, me mentors who can talk to them. We also have been doing something called uh, clothing, uh, restoring dignity through clothing, whereby we have been giving girls and many people, everybody, somebody who, is, uh, who doesn't have any cloth. So if you don't have a cloth, you come to our organization, we give you a cloth, then you look smart. So through this cloth, how do we get them? We get them from our, from our donors. People who have much and they feel like they cannot put them. Maybe you have something in your home and you feel like this one, I'm not using it. Somebody somewhere can use it. So we have also been resp responding to disaster. You know, in these slums where we live, there's a lot of fire outbreaks. Out outbreak. So we also respond with clothes, utensils. And now the key one is empowerment. We've been empowering, empower, empower, empowering the younger, young, young, young generation, not only girls, but this is now cut across boys and girls with vocational training uh, skills, whereby we partner with other organizations, which I will not mention, to take, we have already taken like uh, one, 100, uh, 120 uh, young people to different courses, vocational training. So my key, my role as, a, as an MCA it's just to come and uh, to, to make it greater what I've been doing. Because for my, my time in the, in the office, I will, not, I will not let any child go without uniform. Any torn cloth, any torn uniform. I will make sure that they have shoes and, and uniform. That is uh, according to our Mungarom Tani. But now I will bring it to the Nene because we have many children many young people who are going to school with torn uniform and this one also demoralized them. Their self-esteem is going down. I will make sure that the girls in my ward are getting uh, sanitary towels because also this one will make them be in class every time. And also I will make sure that the uh, disbursement of the bursary because what we've been seeing, the way the bursary are being, being given out is not very open. 
and my, my time I will work with every uh, every tribe because as much as I'm a Luo, they will all they, they, everybody will vote me in. So I will give, I will distribute bursary to everyone who is coming from my ward. And also now the empowerment to because there's a lot of crime, a uh, lot of crime and uh, small petty things that are happening because everybody is not perfect. And this one now comes at terms of the security. Security is not um, is not about building police stations. It's not about pol building the police posts. Security is about empowering these young men with skills that can give them something and keep them busy. As we know very well, uh, and an idle mind is a devil workshop. So for my time, I will come up with something called Lakisama Empowerment Center, whereby the old, the old people, the old practitioners, the old engineers, we have their fathers who have retired and they have the skills. They will be the teachers who are teaching this young generation electrical, plumbing, name them, and anything that they can do. But this one will be a one-stop because if you come out of uh, secondary school and you don't have anything to do, then you will get yourself into anything that is not good with your life. So before you get anything that you want to do, you will come to Lakisama Empowerment Center whereby you can acquire skills. If you want to do driving, if you want to do what, there is where now we can start empowering our youth. And those people who have, uh, have acquired any, who have time, who have uh, attended, uh, uh, have gotten good grades, they can be going to university. And that one is through bursary. This is a, this is a new baby on board. A, she, she's, the, she's the new sheriff because once uh, we are having now, this is our second uh, MCA. Uh, the last one was, uh, the first one, he came, he conquered us with money, then he went away. The second one, uh, he's there, he's doing nothing because uh, he was not the one who won the election. Now he's there to, to just uh, milk and go. But uh, for us, as Lakisamians, we are there to be given uh, opportunities. Because the, the reason why I'm saying they did nothing, uh, and it, it, is not, it is not personal, we don't have a health care, a health center, we don't have a public, huh? any public, name it, public toilet, we don't have public, any public thing in Laksama, we don't have. So we don't have a public school, primary and secondary, there's no, we don't have a public hospital, even a clinic, even a health center, we don't have. So when I come, when I come on board, I think I'm, as a father, I have also passed through, because my children, I have, a child, I have children, they want to go to clinic, they want to go to hospitals, they want to go to schools. As a father, my role is to bring education and to put a school. So I will make sure that I will try my best and talk to the government so that we can have our own schools and, 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 our, and our own uh, public health centers whereby our people can be served. The chemistries, that, 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 uh, the, the, new, the, the private hospitals and the private schools which are here are very expensive and for a normal mamamboga cannot afford to go to these schools and to go to this uh, to go to this hospital so i will make sure i will consider that as one of my key pillars so that i can make the laksama uh, great again politically our things on the ground and uh, are you really into this political thing or maybe you just here then after nomination in case you want to win the nomination, just go or and which party are you vying with? I'm going. I'm going to be the MCA of Laksama, God willing. All the best. I'm going with the conquering party. I'm the going with the party that have been the bring us out of the colon, colonization. That is Party Kanu, uh, and uh, our our brand now is Kanu Fresh. We, as the young people, have decided to bring rejuvenate uh, the party once again. And uh, our, through our young uh, and uh, ambitious presidential aspirant, that is uh, uh, Kipsiele uh, Arap Moy, that is uh, Mr. Gideon, uh, who is the senator of Baringo. So we are la uh, rallying behind him, and I'm going to be the MCA001 from Nairobi. I've already registered, I am on the path, I'm not going to, I'm not going to board out of Kanu. So I am part, I'm Kanu. If you cut my blood, it's Kanu, which is red. And uh, our president is also uh, promising that if we get this thing, we are going to give free milk. So you might be lucky. So that is my party. Okay. After nomination, 
Yes, I am there. And uh, I'm not begging the party to give me nomination. We have, anybody can just come on and so that we square it openly. I don't have any fear. This is not a matter of life and death. If I win, it's okay. If I lose, it's okay. It's all, all about God's plan. Being a youth, Sam, I know you have a lot in store for them. And uh, you taking this challenge to Vai, is, it's a lot. Mm. So what do you have in store for the youth of Laksama and Kenya as well? Uh, most of the time, they say that uh, our time is now, as the rock said, Wakatiwe uh, Nisasa. But uh, they don't want to give us that chance to, to be where they want us to be because they tell us we are the leaders of tomorrow. For me, I've decided I am the leader of today. So I'll be the voice of you guys when I get into that uh, seat. I will make sure that now that I'm getting to Nairobi County, I'll make sure that not only like some award uh, youth voice will be heard, but Nairobi County youth must be represented in a very good manner whereby I will be the Mtetezi as my slogan Mkombozi for them so that they can also get jobs. We have a lot of jobs that are being uh, given in the county but those people who we elect they are not giving us even a leeway. They are not even telling us that there's these chances. What they do is ferrying people from their shags, ferrying people from their f f relatives and putting them on those seats. So for us in the ground, Pale Mashinani, we are just Juyamawe every time. I will make sure that what we talk about and I will make sure that I smoke out every job that I had. In Yendaskia to County, I will tell people. So I will be your voice. If you let me in, I will not let you down. Torres, for someone who doesn't know Lakisama very well, mm. where is Lakisama? And from where does Lakisama Ward start and where does it end? Yeah, uh, Lakisama is not in Ushago. Let me just comb you. Lakisama is in Nairobi County. And uh, where it's, we are along Thika Road, for those people Adoyanyoba, who are going to Muranga and Nyeri, they pass Lakisama. We are just next to Moi International Sports Center down there. We are the neighbors of uh, Babadogo Ward. Uh, we are the neighbors of Korokocho Ward. We are the neighbors of uh, Mwiki Ward. And we are the neighbors of Dandora Phase 4-5 Ward. We are just in the middle. And, uh, and uh, we are the new, this is the new sheriff in town because uh, it has just been conquered twice. Now I'm going to be the third king of Lakisama. So that means it's a new, it's a new ward and uh, it was just uh, separated away from Babadogo, the larger Babadogo. So we are in Lakisama. Lakisama, if you want to come to Lakisama, you can just board number 25 from Imenti then you will come directly to Laksama. We have ni the nicest Matatu in our area. Whereas th this is the third time IBC is rolling out voter registration. Yeah. What do you think is uh, affecting people or limiting people not to register as voters? One is, uh, let's talk about youth first. Our youth are very, uh, like they, they need instant things. They need like, if you switch it on here, it lights immediately. So our youth are like, they feel like if they take the vote immediately, they will get the reward immediately before they, they get, uh, before they vote. So, and this is, I know where this is coming from, from there, but from, from the older, elder voters and the way people are talking about politics. The parents have educated their children something that is if that is good and also not good that politicians are not the good people because for for their for their for their time they chose the wrong wrong they chose the wrong the wrong leaders now they want to pass this message to their children that every leader that is vying is a liar or is a somebody who will not help you so the youths have also decided kama baba yangu ama mama yangu akusaidika i'm not also going to take a vote that is number 1 two is about distance and this goes to uh, IBC because one, we have people who are elderly, people who are new in these areas, people who cannot walk long distance, people who even don't know where the IBC offices are. And why am I saying this? IBC is forcing uh, voters who are supposed to, rep to replace their votes from wherever they took them, and now they are the residents of these areas. 
this one goes uh, across the Kenya and telling them that they must go to their their uh, their offices that is the constituency office bearing in mind that where the offices are it's uh, it's somewhere which has distance uh, which uh, people must uh, have fair and must also create time if they could allow people to change their vote uh, votes within wherever people are collecting their new voters then it could be very well because one we have heard people saying that mimi kama ni kwenda kubadilisha kura huko mbali wacha kura yangu ikae and this one will let people down this is now the third time that uh, ibc are, are, are giving these chances but if you look at the register like sama is the one that is lacking behind we only have a, a thousand one thousand two hundred newly registered and 216 uh, represent uh, uh, replacements and we have many people who have migrated from their from their area of of residence to these new new places so i would love to request and urge ibc to bring the ibc uh, uh, manager down on the ground because you see like summer we have five wards and if they can say this week we are in this ward we will be doing replacement the second week we will be doing this they will be helping people and the number will raise we know that we are being given money and this money must be also be open to everybody so if you give chance and you don't bring the new tricks of getting people it will never happen people will not register and people will not change their votes because the attitude that you have at the ground that if you want to change your vote go to the ibc headquarters thank you very much uh, uh Kurayetu. let me take this opportunity to talk to my like some people because i am also requesting for your support one i want to request you to pray for me secondly you know me very well thirdly please it's not all about money leadership is about your heart and what you can deliver it's about deliverance i know saizi kunasema kwamba kuna mandovu mkuu wengi ndovu ni wengi sana but now you're forgetting that god ndio mkuu so mimi ningesimama na god Anytime you see me, see me as your leader, it's not a matter of money. Pesa ni maua inapita. Yes, of course, pesa na katakikana, but give us equal chances, those who have money and those who don't have money. Because money inakuja po mbele. Uh, I'm going to make sure that everything that I promise as stories, it will happen. And they must happen for you guys. So, nina waomba, vijana, uh, thank you akina mama for supporting me. I want to also thank Waze. I want to thank them so that we can bring the new lucky summer that we want. For youths, najua mnalia sana maneno ya wifi, maneno za lights. I will make sure that nikiingia lucky summer will not be analog again. That lucky summer itakuwa digital. So my promises, I will keep them and God bless you. Please don't forget me when you are going to your ballot box and please choose stories if you want peace. Thank you very much, Torres, for honoring our invite, and I really pray that you win this seat. All the best in your campaigns. Amen, amen. Okay, so for someone who, who is uh, watching this video who doesn't know who you are and maybe would like to interact with you, how can they get to reach you? Yeah, uh, thank you for your prayers. I, I, I wish God akuskize na najua takuskiza. If you want to get in touch with me, just go to our Facebook, uh, uh, Torres, my Facebook personally one. Torres Sam Omol, and you can also go through our website www.mungaromtani.org. You can also follow us on Facebook as Mungaromtani. So if you go to web, our website www.mungaromtani.org, you will get everything. So there you can see who I am personally and what I've been doing to the community. And you can also go follow my Facebook as Torres Sam Omol. The, the names that you will see on this, just follow them on Facebook and Instagram everywhere Amam Ngaromtani so please also don't fo forget to follow uh, Kurayetu TV on every social media everywhere please just support them they are doing amazing job and they are the guys they are very youthful also and this is our youthful channel thank you very much for choosing Kurayetu TV I have been your host Liz Akama and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel see you on the next episode